Mijn hernen have a lot of potassium. Potassium is good for you. It's good for your skin, for your body, for your brain. Most people um, have actually too little uh, potassium, potassium. It can also help a little bit against the aging and that kind of things. Uh, potassium is also good for your hair. Well, Yes, I have a big hat for a back, big uh, front hat. <laughs> so I like to call it now. Um, but actually, that's something that I have a lot from a long time. This is something that I have from the age of um, actually always, always a big hat. And. And it actually becomes smaller um, because I was always a little bit sick when I was younger. If you can see in, now on this planet, I had also a lot of acne from oil and kind of things. It was, uh, I was uh, close to feeling. Actually, from my 12 years. Can you imagine it? You've been eating a chicken, period. Coming from the asshole. Wait, eh? Because chickens have only one hole. Pee hole. It's ass. It's like a pee hole. This place where the menstrual cycles of the chicken comes from. So you eat chicken, periods. Pretty disgusting, is it not? And that's what the chicken industry, aka the egg industry, wants you to eat. They have convinced you to eat something it's like that. It's extremely weird. <laughs> but uh, we can dream weird because. Vegans eat uh, banana smoothies and rice, corn, potatoes. It is totally normal, normal to eat uh, to eat hen periods <laughs> and dairy. Actually, the mammal decretion of another brain. <laughs> it is also totally normal for her for animals. Oh. You know, maybe not to know that humans actually been 400% herbivore, not carnivore or omnivore. There's also another lie from the meat industry. We have in our slime, we have uh, MLIs, we have said uh, one enzyme that helps to digest starch and carbohydrates, sugars, and kind of, that kind of things. It's also one of the reasons that you have to drink enough water, because if you not drink enough water, your slime cannot so good digest the starch on your teeth, and you get plaque on your teeth, and you, then you get cari carious, and you get little holes in your teeth. You have to go to the dentist and that kind of things. But if you I, put, I clean my teeth one time in the day uh, and seems to change teeth extremely yellow or things. No, that is because I drink enough water. And my slime I digest the most of the star of the um, of the plaque before they are it turns in dangerous stuff. And that can act uh, can actually get bacteria on. Well. 
Also something. Your brain used the most amount of calories from all other products. It's the most needed material that the human body needs. The starch carb complex uh, carbohydrates actually been also most likely the biggest reason for the if uh, for the evolution of our brain because we learn to cook and so we can learn to eat more starchy food with uh, higher carbohydrates density that we can easily eat a lot more from and it is hard time if you eat from raw fruit so much amount of calories You can do it, but you have actually to eat a lot. I'm in around six foot six, so that's for my lot to eat, and I cannot so eat so much. It's too much for me. So I'm not looking at that I have find when I become high carb vegan. I have a long time for that all vegan. But since I eat high carb, I find that my hair grow a little bit thicker. I mean now for something like One point nine months, or uh, one point nine years vegan. So one year and nine months. Um, and now I find that my hair, any size season, become a little bit more bigger. I actually have very thin hair, actually. Very, I had also a lot of stress in that time, and that's also another reason that a lot of my hair not comes out my head. <laughs> it stay in my head and not want to grow. <laughs> Maybe it can help you also. Uh, something others that I find uh, that since I go eat less uh, fat, but uh, my skin become thinner. And before I had a lot of acne, even yeah, I eat not a lot of animal products. And when I was vegan, I don't eat absolutely no animal products, but still I get acne from some oils and avocados. That yeah, that's also some probably the why I get acne from some nuts also. I myself being very sensitive for a lot of um, oil rich products with high fat products, uh, something like that. Um, I was also finding out that since I was high carb that I have more energy and that I can easily do a lot of work out, more workout and if I switch back to so I have tried sometimes to more fat I find out that I become more 
I have more problems with my anxiety. Uh, I have a little bit social anxiety. That's also something that I have from my from my young age. As I feel a lot bullied at school and I don't feel myself a lot of times um, fine with a lot of people. This actually this was not the easiest way for Mark to talk. In my own. I still like to want to play to talk with humans. It makes me sad. Most humans make me sad. Sorry. Maybe you'll be not the one that makes me sad, but it a lot of people make me sad. They make all this they make stupid excuses why they are well, to continue their rituals, like going to the McDonald's and barbecues and that kind of uh, annoying kind of stuff. I not just just go vegan. What's the problem with going just vegan? The animals don't want it. Let me change it. Let me change the pigs, the turkeys and the chickens with, with uh, guinea pigs, with dogs and cats. Let me change them. And still you have something extremely cruel. The victims don't want it. it, it. No matter how the victims being cows, chickens, humans, pigs, they don't want it. So, be just kind instead to be cruel. Just live by the golden rule. I bring in a lot of religions and most atheists think also this is a great good idea. Treat others and animals can qualify as others no matter how you look to it. Like you want to be treated yourself. And if they can locate water to drink if they can fly in a fee formation, if they can locate food, if they are hunger, if they are... All of this is logical thought. Be not instinct. The only instinct is breeding. All others is logic called behavior. Most of them, therefore, actually don't use lots of logic in their whole life. Most people think not so much about the future. The most people live in day one and don't think about day 20. Most people go to McDonald's and do Burger King that give their cancer, diabetes, cause starvation in poor countries. Because we steal the food and give it to the animals. We do it not directly, but we pay others to do it. There's something for it to actually be. And the reason that people do that is because society told them that it to do, parents told them that to do. Gossip, tell them that. Gossip, gossip. Religion tells them that to do. Everyone told them that to do, but nobody thinks for themselves in this, in this um, damage anymore, and come to logical conclusions. People, <laughs> most people, seems to seems a little bit to act like 
little automatons. Walking and pleasing the massa. Just like what politics, politicians do, if they want to be elected. I don't admit it. I proclaim it now. I am in revolt against the age-old lie that the majority is always right. He's an aristocrat all of a sudden. And more, I tell you, the majority is always wrong. Are you gone mad? Stop talking or you'll was have the to... majority right when they stood by while Jesus was crucified? Was the majority right when they refused to believe that the earth moved round the sun and let Galileo be driven to his knees like a dog? It takes 50 years for the majority to be right. The majority is never right until it does right. I want to state right now that although this man has been my friend for many years and I've eaten at his table many times, I now cut myself off from him absolutely. Answer me this. Please, please, one more moment. A platoon of soldiers is walking down a road toward the enemy. Every one of them is convinced that he's on the right road, the safe road. But two miles up ahead stands one lonely man, the outpost. He sees that the road is dangerous, that his comrades are walking into a trap. He runs back. He finds the platoon. Isn't it clear that this man must have the right to warn the majority, to argue with the majority, to fight with the majority if he believes he has the truth? Before many can know something, one must know it. It's always the same. Rights are sacred until it hurts for somebody to use them. We can cure easily world hunger because something like 51 to 9 percent of all the greens, all the lentils, all the vegetables we feed to the land uh, to all the land animals. Look to be murdered. Rape and torture and abuse, and then turn in a burr. Seems that not a little bit hypocritical. Once you did, somebody do that to you. No, mate. So, what I now say to you? Go to Spiegel. The environment, the other animals, and also other humans will be ha will happy, be happy that you do that. Humanity, humanity prays for mercy. It is not willing to extend it to others. Why humanity well, don't expect mercy from somebody else? It is unfair to ask for something that you don't be willing to give. It is inconsistent. A apple will accept inconsistency or injustice, even if it comes from God. It is to become a voice from God that he says that he is against veganism. I will say, I being for veganism. And you, being a fool, that's how strong I stand in this regard.